Alright, what is going on my dudes? We are back here today with another Karina's challenge guide This also happens to be a video that I've wanted to make for a long time Which is just simply a two-star Loki soloing the 5.4.6 Ultron boss I didn't do it because other people have done it But now it does seem like the time to get the video out that I've wanted to make for a while Um, you know, um the whole point of this challenge is that like people for years have been cheesing this Ultron boss You know back in the day with Loki and even as a two-star He can get through it very very easily and a lot of people even in my you know High Alliance war level Alliance have asked like how do you fight this Ultron with Loki? A lot of people just don't know the cheese method and the best way to go about doing that And I'm going to show you today you could do it even with a two-star But keep in mind for the three-star challenge You do have to use a three-star Loki all throughout and then after we do the fight We're going to go over the uh what I consider to be the best path, um, what I used, how I did it, and whatnot, um, you know, to get to this guy. But uh, just one thing to keep in mind, um, you're going to see, like, a little bit of regeneration at the start from Heimdall and the Guilty Soul from Black Widow Clairvoyant. Ignore that. I just use them to get up to the path. Um, but anyway, let's go over how to fight this guy. So, first thing you have to know here is that he does have that evade every seven seconds. He evades one of your hits. So, as long as you're, like, um, aware of that and you're keeping that in the back of your mind, just, uh, you're going to be good to go, okay? So, there's that evade. So, now you know I'm good for the next seven seconds, okay? So, watch this. He has the power gain prompt up, right? So, you have to be very careful here, but I'm going to actually use that to my advantage. I'm going to parry and steal the power gain right away, and now I'm going to go all the way up to a special three. Now, once I get to the special three, you're going to get the curse with Loki, and now every single buff, right, that Ultron gets, I'm going to steal with the special three, okay? So now I'm about to steal this armor up buff, which is a very potent armor up buff. It's going to help your Loki stay alive, okay? Now, um, here's the regeneration buff as well that Ultron has. I'm going to go ahead and steal that with the parry, and you just, your, your health completely shoots up. I could probably take full combos here with the three-star Loki, and I won't die if I have that regen buff up, okay? Here here we go again with the power gain. Look at that. That was a 30k heavy attack from the two star Loki here, right? Again, you want to just make sure you have your eye on that evade so you know when he's going to evade. The fury buff, it's very important to keep that fury buff because it makes you very, very strong. Here I delayed a little bit and he evaded my heavy, but luckily I did survive. But at this point, right, all you have to really do is wait for a fury buff to cycle around and go for a special three and that's going to be the end of the fight because it's going to make the special three very, very strong. You can also continue fighting him just like this as you can see it is going well and when there are going to be more regen buffs we're going to go ahead and steal those as well again i delayed just a little bit on that heavy attack but keep in mind the three star probably would have already killed him uh, but as long as you have an eye on that evade you're going to be good to go just like this and you don't have to solo him by the way so if you're doing this challenge you can go through and just you know get him down but this is the way to go about doing it um but yeah, guys, that's a two-star Loki soloing the Ultron boss in 5.4.6. Keep in mind, for the challenge, you have to go through a lane and the boss only with a three-star Loki. No synergies, nothing else. You can use boosts. You can use suicides if you want to. But let's talk about a game plan here for uh oh, a game plan here for what you should use, um, what what you know, what path you should use to get to him. So big shout out to my buddy Cat Murdoch here who made this beautiful map. Uh, here's her logo right down there. Um, but it's a bit of a longer picture, so. We're gonna have to hide that for now sorry buddy um but i personally went to the rage path okay so that's the one that starts with hulk right there right to the left of me right there see right there there he is right there um there's hulk so i went through electro first and actually my buddy sweeta just released a video soloing electro with loki with a very nice technique um i might link that in the comment section below if i remember to do so but uh if i forget just go ahead and check out his channel it's definitely possible to get through this entire thing revivalist which is very uh very cool i didn't think it was but it is it seems to be so definitely go through electro instead of uh, yellow jacket and i do recommend you go right to this hulk right here um personally I use, I think, three revives on Electro, and I actually used two revives on Hulk just because I was playing poorly, but you can definitely get through Hulk uh, revivalist. I got through the rest of the entire path without using a revive. Um, the rage path, it's very, very easy with Loki. However, um, it does take a long time, so some of these hits do take, like, some of these fights, like, 250, 300 hits. So just keep that in the back of your mind. This is going to take about an hour and a half to go through. Um, I've heard people as well going on the vigor path as well, the one that starts with Green Goblin, but I've heard that Green Goblin is really, really rough there. 
I personally do recommend going on the rage path though. Uh, either way, you're going to be like, you know, uh, cycling through your special three, keeping the curse on, refreshing with the heavy attack, and yeah. Um, but anyway, my dudes, that is going to be it for this quick guide to the Asgardian Cheddar quest. Um, this was a fun one. I actually didn't have a lot of fun with this, even though it did take a long time. Um, the Loki boss is super cheesy with Loki, so, uh, and the, the Ultron boss is super cheesy with Loki, so definitely have fun with it. But anyway, my dudes, that's going to be it for this. If you enjoyed it, if it helped, drop your boy a like. Comment what you think about this fight and this guide in the comment section below, and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future guides and content and fights just like this coming to you very, very soon. I'll be seeing you around.